welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a quick Bible study. Everybody always asks for more Jesus videos and more Bible study videos. So if you want more videos pertaining to Christianity um, about my relationship with Jesus, I did my testimony video, um, which you can check out. And so yeah, let's just get really into it. So my Bible is a study Bible, but it's also the New Living Translation Bible. So I'm going to be reading out of 2 Corinthians, and it says, we're starting at verse 3. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others when they are troubled. We will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ. Even when we are weighed down with troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. For when we ourselves are comforted, we will certainly comfort you. Then you can patiently endure the same things we suffer. We are confident that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in the comfort God gives us. I want to talk about this because I think there's this perception, as somebody who has lately been going through a lot of different things in my life, just a lot of different, I don't know, just problems and trials and suffering, and I think there's this perception that if you're a Christian, it's going to be the dream life. Every day of your life is going to be some kind of dream, and every day is going to be magical, and... um. Yeah, it's it's great, you know, being a Christian is a good thing, but it doesn't secure that the rest of our lives are just going to be super simple and that there's going to be nothing because, in fact, God even tells us in our Bible in a multiple different areas that we will go through suffering. Even here he says it, that we're, there are going to be times when we're going to suffer, but part of that is for God's glory. I think one thing that I really wanted to touch on in this more than anything is that when we suffer, a lot of people always ask, you know, why do bad things happen? And that's such a big, broad thing that I don't even want to get into right now. But um, when we suffer, we have a living, breathing God, right? Like we don't have a God who just sits on a platform and he's out there and it's like, oh, we can see him. No, our God is a God who came down into this earth in the form of a baby and was born into a manger and he can do anything he wants and he lives and breathes. So our God came down and lived the most uncomfortable life there has ever been. You know, he was born into this impoverished place. He didn't live in this throne place. You know, he was harassed. Many people like drove him out of towns and then to top it all off he was crucified on a cross the most painful way to die so our God knows what uncomfortability feels like he knows what suffering feels like he knows how that is so when we have that it's better for us to run to that than to run away I know so many times in our lives bad things happen and people just want to run the opposite way and just like he says here in verse 4 his, he comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others when they're troubled we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us for the more we suffer for Christ the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ you know a huge part of the suffering process is God's glory coming out of it. You know, this entire book from Genesis to Revelation is about bringing God glory and about his will for mankind. And so I think in that sense, you know, again, I don't want to get into the whole why does God allow suffering to happen? Why does, you know, I don't want to talk. I mean, we can talk about it if you want, but I think a huge part of this is understanding, you know, as somebody who I'm going through a lot of things in my life right now that are uncomfortable, they're not fun. I don't like them. You know, growing up is uncomfortable as it is. A huge part of this is some of the greatest things in our lives are born out of uncomfortable situations. Like, it's so uncomfortable for us to do a lot of different things, but when that happens, you know, we're able to give God so much glory for so many different things, and I think that's what's most important. Um, but, you know, like it says, even when we're weighed down with troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. For when we ourselves are comforted, we will certainly comfort you. Then you can patiently endure the same things we suffer. We are confident that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in the same comfort God gives us. So, you know, like I said, we have a living, breathing God who lived this super uncomfortable life. It wasn't like he came down here. He could have come down in any method he wanted. Like, he could have just come down, risen down from the sky in robes and said, all right, I'm here, guys. But he didn't. He came to earth as a conventional, you know, he was 100% man and 100% God at the same time, which we don't always understand. But he did it, and he could have done it any way he wanted, but he didn't. And part of that suffering that he went through allows him to, you know, he can obviously sympathize with us without having gone through that experience, but that makes it understand that he was a human, he went through the same things we do, and it wasn't an easy life for him by any means. So I think the anxiety and the scare and the uncomfortability that we have, we can be so 
at peace knowing that our God is here and our God is with us and he can bring us to comfort at any time you know this passage brings so much peace to my soul you know when I'm anxious about you know things happening or what's going to happen here or how am I going to figure this out we have a God that we can just rest in and say he's got it he's got it and as hard as that can be because I know that can be difficult too you know just saying God's got it God it's easier said than done but I just wanted to let you guys know I, that's just been on my heart lately. So that was just a quick little Bible study for you guys. I hope you enjoyed listening to my thoughts. I'm not a professional, so I just gave a few quick thoughts. But if you enjoyed that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you back here later.